A number of years ago when I was spending time at the uh, U.S. Army War College uh, where I got a degree in uh, strategic studies uh, and strategic leadership, uh, one of the concepts I was interested, uh, introduced uh, to and became fascinated by was the fact that strategic leaders had to operate in what we call the VUCA world. VUCA is an acronym for Volatile, Uncertain, Complex, and Ambiguous. Now, you throw those words together <laughs> and you say, what? Uh, you know, uh, volatile, uncertain, and complex, and ambiguous. <coughs> volatile uh, you know, represents what we do in the military. And, and the, the, the concept at the uh, War College was that strategic leaders and senior leaders had to feel comfortable operating in the VUCA world. Uh, war, by its very nature, is volatile. Um, it's uncertain because every time you develop a battle plan, the enemy is going to change that battle plan after the first encounter. It's complex because you're talking about everything from arms to terrain to culture to political objectives. Uh, and it's ambiguous because many times these things are rapidly changing and you get the fog of war, if you will. Uh, and it's hard to, cert, uh, to sort things out. But what, what was impressed upon me is that strategic leaders uh, have got to bring that clarity to the VUCA world. They've got to see beyond the fog. They've got to define the vision. They've got to define the end state. Now, if you're a good strategic leader, you de help define that end state and you clearly communicate it, but you don't tell your talented crew how to get there. You empower them, enable them to use every bit of their ingenuity, every bit of their intellect, every bit of their talent to design the tactical approach to getting to that end state, uh, that vision, that optimal state of, uh, of, of, of being or operating. So I was turned on and challenged uh, and introduced to that term and I've used it constantly over the years uh, because uh, as you evolve as a leader um, and become a strategic leader, you have got to be comfortable uh, being uncomfortable. Living in um, that world of challenge, in that world of um, sort of cloudy, murky, where a lot of factors come together, a lot of variables come together, and sorting things out. Now, I want to lay out, to begin with, before I go back to the military health system, another concept uh, that sort of has guided me. Uh, in, in, in trying to work in this uh, VUCA world, which is the old saying is, how do you eat the elephant? One bite at a time, right? Uh, and the issue here is that when you've got a large, complex problem, you don't get frustrated by it. In fact, that's a word that I've eliminated from my personal vocabulary when I talk about problems. And when I mentor uh, my other senior staff and uh, leaders, I, I ask them to consciously think about eliminating that, that term. Because what it does is, number one, it conveys to your subordinates a sense that you haven't got control of the situation and you haven't got an answer. But if you get back to the statement of how do you eat the elephant uh, one bite at a time, your job as a strategic leader is to lay out the series of facts and variables and then approach each one with incremental solutions. So it may be political issues as well as technical issues, but if you lay them out uh, in sort of their smallest elements, there almost surely is an answer to each one of those issues that you've got to deal with. And then it's your job to just sequence them so that you can leverage them to get to the end state and get to the clarity and get to the answer that you need. So you've got to understand the VUCA world. You've got to be comfortable in the VUCA world. You've got to learn how to eat the elephant.